I'll be honest with you, it's not one that I would have ever thought that I'd need to, to, uh, to handle or even, even thought in my remote dreams that I, or nightmares that we would have to have this. The Louisiana House could soon take action to allow bulletproof backpacks on school campuses. The bill's author hopes this action will help prevent shootings like the one in Parkland, Florida, where a former student shot and killed 17 people. Good evening. Natalie has the night off. With a 34 to 2 vote, the Senate overwhelmingly passed the bill yesterday. But how is the proposal being received by parents? Jade Cunningham joins us now with their reaction. Jade? Tom, there are different kinds of these backpacks. One which is made out of bullet resistant material, the other which has metal inserts. There was a surge in sales nationally after that Florida shooting, but parents here are still debating on if they'd buy one. Give parents a chance to, if they would like to try to protect their child. Senator Mike Walsworth wrote Senate Bill 178, a bill that if passed would legalize bringing bulletproof backpacks to school. If it saves one child, that's all I would care about. State law currently bans any kind of body armor on school property, but some are now re-examining that, especially after the recent school shooting in Florida. There's an intruder at the school. The parent would probably, I mean, the school teacher might put the backpack in front of the child and have the, the wall behind the child to make sure that that's the protection. What the average person does not understand is that Though it stops the bullet, the force of the bullet absolutely goes through the Kevlar. J.P. Morrell, one of two senators to vote against it, argues the proposal is misleading. The concern I have is that when you have a bill like this, you really push a false sense of security on parents. The creators of these backpacks sold nationally admit while not 100% bulletproof, they are effective. Local teacher Gregory Swanson says there's no harm in giving parents the option of buying one. If it's going to save one kid's life, why not do it? Or if it's going to make one more student or one more parent feel more comfortable about it, I don't see any harm at all in a kid wearing a bulletproof backpack. Not all parents are sold on the idea. I think it's a good idea, but how... How would a kid be able to carry it? Because while many agree extra protection is needed. I think that's a great idea, along with security doing like hourly checks um, on each classroom. Some feel more needs to be done. That won't solve these mass shootings. Focus on the, the problem. The guns are the problem. Now again, while the Senate approved it, it still has to get through the House. Now tests have shown these backpacks can stop a bullet from a handgun, but not from a rifle or assault style weapon like the AR-15. Companies though apparently are working to try and make it so they're resistant to all types of shots fired. Joe Curran, the founder of the Bullet Blocker, says there are four things you need to know about the bulletproof backpack. One, it only protects against handguns, not assault rifles. He says this is for practicality because the material is lighter so the backpacks aren't too heavy for children to wear. The backpacks can be expensive. The full-on backpack can range from $200 to $500, while the bullet-resistant inserts cost $99. The backpacks don't last forever. Even if you take great care of it, they expire after five years. Also, don't buy used bulletproof products because you don't know what they've been through. And the Justice Department certifies bulletproof products. Any product you buy should be NIJ certified and the certification should be displayed on a company's website. 